Bammo. I guess we were just escaping. Not trying to fight. Uh oh, they're leaping for us. They're gonna barely make it. Uh oh. We gotta shove some kind of bomb gun off. Hey, it's Mr. Splosion Man. Or just Splosion Man. Oh god. He looks he looks pretty fizzled up, man. He's had his six cup of coffees today. Ooh! Man, don't break my TV though. I appreciate that much. Very much so. Dude, calm down! He's like busting his head on that glass. He's gonna, he's gonna get a concussion, dude. Oh, I guess it's because they captured Miss, Mr. Splosion Man that they're all partying. Because it was very hard to capture him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there's a little. Oh, you know what this means? We're getting a Miss Splosion Man. Miss Miss Splosion Woman. But they're gonna call it Miss Splosion Man. Kind of like Miss Pac Man. Ooh. Oh, effing Thanos. Oh my god. Yeah, nope. The whole works. The whole Thanos. Here we go, guys. We got ourselves Miss Splosion Man. Bada boom. Strike a pose, dude. Dude, et. Press L and R. What if I just press one? Yeah. Okay, so you do for once have to press both L and R. Some games bull crap on that. They say press L and R, and then you can just press one or press a different button, and it'll start to like, Why though? Uh, regardless, though, uh, I want to thank Twisted Pixel Games for sending me this. Uh, review copy of Miss Splosion Man, and I'd also th like to thank my partners Screenwave Media for helping me up with that, hooking me up and all that such. Uh, but yeah, apparently this game has multiplayer. It's supposed to have like, I think it has two to four player multiplayer. Um, if I select it, let's see what pops up. I'm actually very curious. Yeah, you got single console, local wireless, and some online. Two to four players cooperate using online play. Up to three players may play on the Nintendo Switch console. So you can have three people on Switch and then one other person some other part of the country or world and you can play together. I think that's super awesome. Two girls, one controller. Nice reference there. I see what you did uh, for those who, who have been on the internet a while. Play multiplayer on the, your own. Use both analog sticks to control two different explosion, Miss Explosion Men. Use L and R to trigger explodes for each. So you can do two player mode by yourself, which is pretty weird, but I bet that's pretty interesting. Uh, what's the mall? What's the mall? We got concept art, movies, audio exclusives, and photos. That's pretty neat. What are the movies got? Oh, okay. All right. This item can be unlocked once you have beaten the game and need the single or multiplayer. Awesome. We got some nice little extras, guys. Exclusives, special images, two girls, one controller mode. Be my exploding time. Got Valentine's Day coming up soon too. Original beard video. What does that mean? Got like freaking Gerard in this or something? The completionist. It doesn't seem to be. Seems to be some guy who works there, maybe. Uh, concept art. Obviously, you can unlock those later. But that's pretty neat. You got, her, got yourself a little mall. Achievements. We got an achievement system. So that's pretty awesome. I'm just kind of showcasing what kind of things we got here, since I just want to kind of show the overall ropes of this game. Uh, but for yeah, for now, we're going to go ahead and jump right on into the single player. There's also leaderboards, but we can we might check that out later. Might, might not. It just depends. So up a new game. Get this going. For those who may be familiar with this game or its predecessor, which was Explosion Man, she's doing the Carlton dance. That's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, from what I know, she's supposed to do like a first set of references and whatnot. But yeah, I remember playing Explosion Man way back in the heyday on the Xbox 360. It was the Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, so she can do like three jumps. That's awesome. You can pick different buttons. Both A and B both do that. Okay, so all the buttons are basically the jump button. What happens if I press... Oh, oh, ZR explodes her, and I think that restarts the level, or something like that. Alright, good to know. So if I explode on these guys, they die? Oh man, Skeleton Central. That's sick, we're a freaking murderer. I don't know what this game's rated, but uh, I doubt it's anything past teen at best. I'm assuming it's E or E10. Could be teen, though, could be teen. Got ourselves a little video, oh boy. Big Science Labs, Inc. presents... Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, yellow. Yellow Miss Explosion, man, that's cool. Got some wall jump explodin' and you. Lesson one, base explodin'. Exploding with care is the key to a healthy lifestyle. Meet Sarah. Sarah brushes her teeth and does her homework her name's Sarah? on time. 
She's a good explosion woman. That's Debbie. She's a stupid. <laughs> <laughs> when Sarah was <coughs> Carol, she holds <coughs> the entire time. Sorry, but joking. let's watch Debbie. She lets go of the stick when she hits the back. I really do like the fact that they include the Joy-Cons here into their little tutorial. Like it's not just a carbon port. Like they They're adding some switch features Sarah to this. Is frugal with her clothes, saving each until she absolutely needs it. Debbie twitches on her slow button like a heroin junkie. She okay, yeah, this game's probably T for T if we're bringing up heroin. <laughs> I could be wrong once again. It could be E10. I doubt it's E, though. I actually have to look that up after this. Debbie, come on out. I'm actually looking at Miss Explosion Man right now. I want to see what this game's rated. Sarah knows that she can explode three times before she needs to recharge. She They're kind of just showing a tutorial right now, I suppose, but... Yeah, I need a rating on this game. What's this game rated? What happens if I play the video? I hope it doesn't play audio on my phone. <coughs> I'm like choking on this drink I had. <coughs> trying to actually turn my throat. <coughs> Sorry about that. I should be good now. Here we have a couple of zip lines. Zip lines. Okay, so we're getting like the full scope here of tutorialness. That is the trailer playing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I need to lower the audio on my phone. Apologies for that. I was just, I was just wanting to check out the trailer, man. But for some bizarre reason, it went to a Kirby trailer. I, I'm pretty sure I played Star Allies already, Nintendo. I, I appreciate that, but yeah, I'm just kind of letting the tutorial play right now. Which I'm not paying attention to whatsoever, because I'm paying attention to this. Yeah, okay, so it is T for Teen, because it has a drug reference and other such. Uh, are you sure you want to skip the tutorial? Nah, no, nah, I'm good. You can keep playing. I'll listen. I'll listen, ma'am. Oh. No, yeah, this game is rated T for Teen for sure. This game has some censorship. Holy crap. This game is awesome, though, because... Uh, I, like I said, I remember playing the original back on Xbox 360 uh, via the Xbox Live Arcade, and that game was super fun. I never got to play uh, Miss Splosion Man, and now it's on the Nintendo Switch, but I find it a little bizarre how we don't have the original Splosion Man on Switch, but we have Miss Splosion Man. I don't know if they'll ever bring the first game to the, to the Switch, but I mean, if this game's on the Switch, I say anything's possible. Because, I, once again, I did not see this coming onto the Nintendo Switch. The company doesn't make, like, a tremendous amount of games. I think as of late, they've been working on, like, VR, and they also, like I said, they worked on Miss Explosion Man, they also worked on Miss, yeah, Miss Explosion Man, Explosion Man, some VR, I think a VR game or two, I could be wrong about that, and they also worked on a game called The Mall, if anyone's ever heard of a game called The Mall, it's about this purple blobby character that this little alien guy has to control, uh, that's a game I've been wanting to play on my channel for a while now, just because it's, it's very under the radar, so I've been wanting to play that game. Never got around to it, but it's from the same creators. So, you know, you see what, what you see is what you get in terms of uh, their quality. Because it's like same kind of animation or same kind of graphics and all that kind of stuff. And I like it. I like it. It's very cartoony, very vibrant and fun. But it's also got that techie kind of side to it because of these scientists and whatnot. Just so, like steak on the ground. Hello, steak. I'm not too sure how long I'll make this video, but I'm going to try to showcase the ins and out of Miss Explosion Man. But once again, I just want to thank Twisted Pixel Games for you know supplying me with this uh, review copy. This is a review copied uh, video, so yeah. But I y yes, Miss Explosion Man, Miss Explosion Woman. I want to call her Miss Explosion Woman. I'm sorry, that's that's what I want to call her, but it's Miss Explosion Man. I shall go with that, but you know. Yeah, really fun game so far, from what I can tell. It's very simplistic, very platformy. If you like platform games, I'm assuming this would be right up your alley. Like, I love platform games, so something like this is definitely enjoyable to me. Got a lovely checkpoint. Okay, I'm out of... Take my breath away. Yeah, I love the references that she says. She says, like, a bunch of them. She is basically a reference machine and very crazy, so... That is to be expected. Yeah, you only get three jumps. Per explosion, so you gotta make sure you make them count. Swoosh! There we go. 
Oh man, just god dang Thanos over here. Exploding everyone. So deadly. Swoosh! Oh, get wrecked on. Bada boom, alright. Let's see, I wanna pop these balloons so bad, but some of the background balloons don't pop. Swoosh! Oh, I think you just hold on to the button, you start going. I keep wanting to like explode on it and then it'll take me. But that's not what you wanna do. There we go. You don't even use the zip line for the most part. You kinda jump over a lot of it. Got a got our first achievement, so heck yeah to that. Bada boom. I don't know how long this game is, but from what I know, it's it's probably not that long. It's more or less a lot of trial and error, maybe some like speed runs. This game would be good for speed runs, like leaderboards and all that such, so. It's it's all about that experience on the first try, and then it's all about trying to get through the levels fast. It's kinda like Sonic in a way. Like, very OG Sonic. Especially if you play later ports that have leaderboards. Oh boy! Nice and graceful, man. I do like the design of her character though. It's pretty cool. Very bubbly looking. Both explosion characters look very bubbly. That is a very gigantic gorilla looking robot. Ew! Boyfriend? I don't think so, buddy. Explosion Man's her boyfriend. Oh god, okay, so we get a checkpoint and then it's just bam, gotta go. I thought we were gonna legit fight this thing. We, we are running away. Oh god. Oh shoot. Why couldn't I. I wanted to hit the uh, green thing. Oh man, what's with this tiptoe action? Hit. There we go. What'd that do? Is that just her run pose? Oh no, she just has different run poses, I guess. Oh boy. Hit. Bammo! I guess we're just escaping. Not trying to fight. Uh oh, they're leaping for us. They're gonna barely make it. Barely just make it. Yeah, there we go. Just hoping for that. I don't know what that reference was, but funny nonetheless. Cupcakes? And they're like, it's better than yours. Or how are the, how are the freaking lyrics? Well, I don't actually remember that show. Or not sh show, I don't remember that song is what I meant to say. My milkshakes bring the boys to the yard and they're like, that's pretty good. Bammo. Alright, let's keep going. How long is this level? Jesus! It's the robot! He be back, man. It's Johnny. Gotta love that reference. Nice shining reference there. Tons of references. Holy cow. Go, 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 go. Checkpoint. Now do we fight this robot? I feel like we're supposed to fight him. Here we go. Um, well, I have an idea. Hey, I gotta bounce on the wall. That's what I gotta do. And then, bammo. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's a way of taking care of a bad guy. I didn't think it'd be that simplistic, but sure. He just waited for me, too. A sail? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's this all about? Oh, something's coming up on the left side. She wiggling that finger. Oh, jeez. How, how do I get rid of you? What is this? What even is going on? Am I supposed to... I guess we're just taking a ride as he's chasing us. Cinematic, I suppose. Man, her pose right now is crazy. Oh, good lord, I died. I ran right into that. My bad. God, I love the physics of this game. There's just the constant explosions I can have. Swoosh. Go, 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 go. What? Oh, I pressed the ZR button I was holding on to. I'm sorry. I exploded myself. I healed myself. Swoosh. Swoosh. There you go. Now get going. Alright. Bada boom. Did she say the Hot Pocket reference? I could be wrong about that, but I could have sworn I heard Hot Pocket. Then again, this is around the time frame where Hot Pockets were pretty popular. Man, it's so it's still so weird how this game's on the Switch. Because I did not expect an Xbox Live title like this to be on the Switch. But then again, from what I've heard on other games, they've been bringing all sorts of nice indie titles from other systems to the Switch, which is awesome. It's giving them more light, giving them more life, another chance to make some sales. I don't know how much this game is on the Switch. I want to say it's $20, or it's $15, or it's $10. I'm actually going to have to search it up after this. That way, when I recommend it to you guys about price and all that. Oh, shoot. I can give a proper fair price. Am I about to die? Oh, no. I'm exploding all over his hand, which is fantastic. Okay. How do you want me to... Oh, up, 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 up. 
Get away from me! Shoot! Yeah, screw you. I'm out. Explode. Here we are. We're gonna bounce off that wall. Here we go. And now. Shoot, I missed it. Swoosh. Now we do it. Bada boom right in the face. Okay, let's do it again. Swoosh. Ammo. Another one in the face. Very simplistic. But I think we're changing things up right now. Oh, jeez. That was close. Hang on. Swoosh. Swoosh. And whoosh. And right in the face. What, what? Oh, we can just explode in your eye. Yeah, let's go. Out of here, dude. Ain't having that. That's not how you treat a lady. Ain't having that today. Oh, jeez. Where do you want me to go, game? Okay. Back down to the ground. Swoosh. Bada boom. Oh, I got caught? When, when did that happen? That's when I was doing everything right. Does that count as pain towards him, or is that just like an escape route? I'm assuming that's just to escape. Alright. Swoosh. Bada boom. In the face. In, in the face disgrace. In, in your face disgrace. However it went in Monster House. I forget that movie. It was a funny little, funny little part of that movie. It was a meme of last year. You know memes. Memes are funny with the kids. Ah, oh, jeez. That was close. Okay. Swoosh. Swoosh. Oh, I didn't make it. Hang on. Bammo. Bammo. And then we'll grab onto this. Swoosh. I didn't make it in time. Oh, no, I did. I'm just latching onto their eye. I was going to say. Explode time. Oh, kiss on the eye. Bammo. Strike a pose. And that's a lot of rockets. Explode the rockets. For the love of God. Ooh, that was close. I'm just kind of spamming the B button right now. And it seems to be doing the charm. Because there's not any other button you really use, so to be fair. Oh, you're in the air. Oh, exploding from the inside. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Like, this game is pretty cinematic. I, I had no idea it was. I thought it was just going to be, like, very simplistic. But it's it's been a while since I played one of these games. So I should have known better. So cool. She's so happy. Oh, we get to finish him off. Let's do it. Bammo. One, two. Oh, I guess I just stand on you. This works, too. What the heck are you? Excuse me? What is going on? Oh, he's self-destructing! Good cry, but he's crazy! Connect to the network to allow you leaderboard? Sure. Jeez, mine was nearly double the time. I suck. Time was 10... Destruction was a thousand. Okay, so we got a score. Earns you 20... 20 tokens of some kind. That's pretty cool. I like how it's SNN instead of CNN. That's pretty funny. Oh, we get ourselves a little hub board? Oh, that's so cool. Mine's a lot of Sonic Colors, actually. It's pretty neat. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and jump on into level two. Ooh, we got some Just Dance kind of looking screenage here. Yeah, so Miss Explosion Man came out in 2011 on Xbox 360. And the sequel was in 2000, or the, sorry, it's a sequel to the 2009 hit Explosion Man. So yeah, Explosion Man was 2009. That, that's about right. That's about the time I actually played it. That was pretty cool. Um... I don't know why I looked up Explosion Man, because I wanted to look up some. Oh, we don't need to load load. We just have to press A when we're ready. My bad. That's my bad. What was I wanting to look up of Miss Explosion Man? I actually don't remember. We got McMeats. Kind of like McDonald's. Look at that dance. Ooh. Look at that dance. She got the moves. Alright, so I guess we're going to go ahead and just kind of keep going. But so far... Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to search. Miss Explosion Man will switch his price. Let's go and look up the price. Cause I don't know, I don't know, I, if I had to guess how much this game is worth, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna go ahead and say $15 on my personal recommendation. I'm gonna say this is a good $15 platformer. But I shall see what the full price is here in a second. I doubt it's anything past 20 but not, not the knock on it for its price, you know, I'm sure its price is reasonable regardless, but personally speaking, I would pay 15 on this. It sounded like, it sounded like Yamcha, I got like Yamcha voice vibes. Bammo. Hang on here. Go ahead and go out of here. I love exploding the little scientists. They never stand a chance. And they're not really deadly either. Like, some of them might actually be a, 
a threat, but I'm not really running into any threatening scientists so far. They seem to just kind of give up or attempt to try to kill me, but they don't really? Oh, hang on. Memo. Yeah, they got like, some of them got like little laser guns, but they just know, man. They, they're just weak. They're weak sauce. They don't got this. Oh, right on the screen. You guys see that frick? I guess we're out of explosion. Oh, shoot. There we go. Turns the skelly tones. Very spoopy. Oh, where, where are we going? It's a very Donkey Kong country. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, just keep going. Sorry about that. I wasn't too sure what we were doing there. There we go. Very nice. I guess we could have, kept, could have sped run that and kept going, but I didn't realize the bomb was there. That's my B. Seriously, that sounds like Yamcha. I could be extremely wrong about that. I don't know if that's Chris Sabbath. I'll have to look into that. Like, I feel like I would know on the spot, but I actually don't know this go around. Where we go? Oh, and that's a grinder. God dang it. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, sorry. I was just clicking the website to see if um, what the price was. Alright, we'll see here in a sec. Oh, jeez, I spammed it. I shouldn't spam it. There's the bomb we need. They wanted us to go back. That's what we should have done. I'm sorry about that. Bammo. Uh, oh, what the? Okay. And then I get to aim. Let's see, where do I want to aim? We want to aim up there, don't we? Swoosh. There we go. Perfect. La 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 la. Got that. Oh, there we go. Ooh, this one's going to be grindy. Gotta make sure we're safe there. I just, uh, like I said, I freaking love killing the scientists. It's just like the satisfying moment. Also, I, I got killed. Okay, so. I can confirm what the price is now. I had said before I even knew what the price was. That I would say that this game is worth $15. This game is $14.99. So it is $15, basically. It's a cent less than what I said it was going to be, guys. I'm sorry. I was wrong. It wasn't $15. It was $14.99. Plus tax. But yeah, I know, it's, this game's definitely worth 15 bucks. I was just, this is just basing it off of how much I've played so far. I can't really vouch for the length of the game. But, I'm assuming it's about a $15 title. Just about. We died. God dang it. Not, not, not that I should be negotiating prices in this video. Once again, this was just a review copy that I was given, and I don't need to endorse the product per se, but, um, I'm just throwing it out there, you know? Just doing the justice. I just want to let you guys know about this lovely game on the Nintendo Switch. It's actually a lot of fun. And you can, like I said, play multiplayer with your friends. So if that's something that could push you into buying this game, that's a plus. Honestly, I was, I was tempted to ask some of my friends if they wanted to buy the game to play with me. But I, I, for some bizarre reason, just don't see many of my friends actually going through with something like that. At least in terms of two to four player. Like, I, I doubt I'd get three or four players getting this, personally. Because a lot of my friends aren't really into games like this. At least not... Not all of them, but some of them might be. Just not all of them. So. Yeah. But, I mean, maybe, I know, like, one person, but they probably wouldn't want to spend money. There's, I know some people that don't like spending money. So they're like, nah, man, that's money. I'm like, oh man, but I want a friend to play with me. This game's fun. Oh, geez. But, you know, if I can multiply myself, which, like I said, there is that two girls, one uh, expl explosion, or whatever it's called, where you can basically play by yourself. I might try that. That's like playing by myself, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, so it like tilted over immediately. Okay, we gotta find a cart. We're waiting for a cart to come by. There's one right there. We're gonna hijack this purple one, guys. Took a little while to get one, but to be fair, I, I should have went on my first try and I didn't. And he's hanging on for dear life and he fell. <laughs> Poor guy. Beard, you work. Oh, shoot. There we go. Sorry about that. I kind of... No! I died. Oh. Okay, I was going to say, did, did I die? be nice if I did, so I could keep going. Did I get a checkpoint? I can't tell if I got a checkpoint. No, okay. I thought maybe it gave me some kind of technical checkpoint or something. Oh, God. So if you, like, go to do your exploding thing to kill yourself, she, like, starts shaking and, like, wants to fall off the map. All right. Swoosh. There we go. That'll send us way over here. I'm gonna wait for this car. Why well, not car? They're not even cars. They're like floating hovercrafts. We're in the future, man. We don't got cars. Cars are a thing of the past. Seems like they have a name in the background. 
I can't really point it out. Oh well, regardless, they're hovercrafts. Oh hey, we're done with the level, I think. Bada boom, guys. Six minutes, which the normal time is four minutes, so I didn't do too bad that time in comparison to my first one. I got a... How many do we get of these? 20? Yeah, I got 20. Seems like 20 is the decent go-to in terms of the number. Oh boy, okay. So we got ourselves 1-3, level 1-3. Now, some robots have weak points and can be exploded, while others are invulnerable to all damage. Ooh, nice to know. Wonder if this will be that level where that happens, man. Oh, oh I was wanting to check out what this was, and then platform leaves without me. I, I, I can't say I appreciate that very much. Two out of ten could have been better. Oh, look at that Carlton dance. Yeah, you go. You show him. There we go. Whoosh. Alright, so that brought out this. Whoa! Jumping across. Okay, so this could be a wall. We're gonna get ourselves an explosion. This one's gonna be a bit more tricky, I think. So, oh, I died. I ran out of jumpy jumps. That's my bad. I love how the stick just pops out of the machine. Oh, hang on. Forgot that we're supposed to go up here first. Swoosh! There we go. That's gonna give us an explosion we can work with. Bamo! There we go. Alright, turn this on so that way the platform's back down. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to keep going. Dang it! Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to explode on that. I keep exploding. I think I'm just supposed to go buy it. But I keep wanting to, like, explode on it. Drama! Mmm, girl. Alright, let's go. Swoosh! Let's give that one more fair shot, man. We only need one more shot. It's not that complex. I'm just making it complex. Swoosh! There we go. See, you only need to do two jumps there, but I kept doing three and dying. Oh boy. Wow, that was a huge jump. I just love the look and the feel of this game. Like, it's it's simple, but it's really nice. Bam! God, we, we have murdered. We're on a murder spree today. I'm a monster. Like, are the scientists really the ones at fault here? Oh, jeez. Nope. Okay. Nope. Oh, what did that explosion do? No, I, I, I don't. I just want to hit the explosion. Dang it! Oh, I'm getting hurt. Okay, let's see. How about we try doing that? Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Leave me alone. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. Man, okay, challenge is starting to kick in a bit. Sorry about that. Cotton Candy Panda. Sounds so cool, actually. Swoosh. There we go. Okay, never mind. I was just making it overly complicated, as always. Uh oh, uh oh. Where do you want me to go, man? You exploded it. Yes, that way you can't hurt me no more. All right, what do we got here? Another checkpoint. Hit up that. Swoosh. But were there other things I could have done there? Probably. Should I send myself off that way? Oh, jeez, man. There we go. Okay, that's what we wanted to do. Never mind. I was like, did I miss things down here? I did not. That was just the path we were taking. That's so cool. It, that, that actually threw me off. And I died. I actually died to one of the shooter guys. Uh, which I think I already did, but I died again. Oh, oops. Okay. I keep. I need to aim for the wall. I need to aim for that wall. Swoosh! And there we go. Send me all the way across. And we'll blast off the wall. Bada boom! Yep, I'm scientist man. Swoosh! There we go. Okay, that's a lot more of a safe way of doing it. Uh oh, hang on. Gotta watch out for their explode explodes. We're explosion woman. We got this. We're Miss Explosion Man. No one's gonna explode us, we're gonna explode them. Hey, want some McMeats? I don't think so, buddy. Oh jeez. Blocking my sight, dude. There we go. What's that do? Oh, got ourselves like a little cutscene. Save me! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's just a realistic dude in the background. Kind of looks like Ryan Reynolds. Just a little bit. Good lord. Ingredients? Is that like a food ad? I couldn't tell. Oh, jeez. Gotta be very careful. There we go. We're just kind of jumping ship for each vehicle. There's one in front of us, too. I don't know if we were supposed to take this one or the other one, but I'm gonna take the purple. 
Yes, that was the right choice. Bada boom. Okay. Yeah, send us off. I'm just making sure I'm doing the right choice here. And... Oh, nope, not ready yet. Whoosh! There we go. Now we blast ourselves on over. Oh, whoosh! Man, you're talking about a wild ride. That was all outside action. And we're done with the level. Nice. Party time. Alright. Sorry, I'm just checking on the recording time. I don't know how long I'm actually going to play this game. But we've been playing for about 30 minutes. Roughly. Give or take. Uh, somewhere around that ballpark. Maybe 20-something minutes. But, yeah, guys. Um, Oh, we're getting something here. Oh, okay. It's just showing us the rest of the... The levels, I suppose. So this one, they let us branch off. We can go to level 1-4 or level 1-5. Which apparently looks pretty deadly. Of some kind. But yeah, either way though, guys. Uh, I just wanted to showcase this game. Just kind of show it off and whatnot. Um, I don't think I'm going to play the entirety of the first world. But yeah, it's pretty neat. It's very straightforward. Very platformy. You get three jumps. Use your explosions to your advantage, you zip line, all that kind of stuff. It's got a, like a little bit of a simple story element where you see some cutscenes and she's going trying to save Explosion Man. It's pretty neat. But yeah, guys, uh, once again, I want to thank Twisted Pixel Games for supplying me with this copy. And you can get this on the Nintendo Switch. I, you can also buy it on the Xbox Live Arcade. I don't know if you can buy it on Xbox One if it's backward compatible or anything like that. But it is available on Nintendo Switch nonetheless came out not too long ago, and it's a pretty fun game. Big Factory. Okay, so the, how many worlds are there? We're in Big Science City, so there's one, two, three worlds as of right now. I don't know if there's any more than that, but yeah, I'll do my re research later. Regardless, though, guys, thank you all very much for watching this video. If you like this type of content, make sure you leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you think about Miss Explosion Man. Uh, if you've ever played this game, or Mr. Splosion Man, or just Splosion Man, I guess. It's not really Mr. Splosion Man, but it's just called Splosion Man. If you've ever played either of them, let me know down in the comment section. If you ever plan on maybe picking up this game, let me know that as well. That'd be awesome. But until then, guys, I'll see y'all next time, and take care. I'd like to take a sec to thank those who are supporting me via Patreon. Superstar shoutout to Gaming Clyde, Johnny Hedgewolf, DK Gaming Pro 64, Mischievous Dreamer, and Press. Thank you all very much for supporting me, and if you're interested in Patreon, check out the description below.